Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? This is your boy, JTL, opposite from the norm, and I'm back with another one. Before I get started, make sure y'all subscribe. So y'all see the title. Let's get into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, the brother is deceased, the brother is gone, but cats are still hating on the man, still got something to say, but it, 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 it's so funny how hypocritical people can be, especially these simps. <laughs> Let's get into it. All right, so I was on the Lapeef uh, network group, Facebook group, and just scrolling up early, just, you know, dropping videos, working and stuff like that. Then, you know, looking through the post and I seen this and it was like, oh, that's what we're doing this morning. So it said, just asking for a friend. What's up with your mans? Hot pink fur, heel shoe booties, nose ring, a purse, Godfather or Godmother? <laughs> that was funny, huh? And Atlanta, no less. Update. After reading comments on this post, it's sad that you dummies will still defend this false idol. For those of you that can actually read, I suggest you go read Bell and the Dragon. Maybe you'll get the point. But I fear that reference is too high for most. All right? So I came on and said something. Just just words of encouragement to people because this is low class. Like, if you ask me, this is low class. So I come on and I say this. I say, fellas, don't even waste y'all time. I'm sorry, I know I missed the word. <laughs> fellas, don't even waste y'all time responding to this. The brother made an impact, and the only people that don't like him is the ones that are an example of what he was talking about. And don't want to make a change. Rest in peace, KS. So the sucker, sorry, simp, came back and said he made an impact on a generation of men who got no play from women when you were younger. Let's remember he was in the pep squad. Oh, he talking trash, taking shots, huh? Let that sink in. This man virtual virtual signal his true prediction. Uh predilection i don't know this dude he be messing up he was messing up somewhere maybe i'm reading the word wrong and you ignored it i swear who's next for you guys to follow Lil nas x now that's what he said to me so i said all right then let's be productive and talk about real life because right now you're talking about a youtube celebrity what's your community actions that's what he said no i could see look c-o-u-k-d so if if i mess up some words some of them are misspelled I could care less about his celebrity. What I focus on is the effect he had and how these idols, these idiots, I'm sorry, how these idiots who follow him repeat and inflict his message out on our community. As a whole, are black women messed up? That's an easy yes. And listen to what he said. As a whole, are black women messed up? That's an easy yes. It's belittling them, criticizing them without a solution effective? No. His message was derisive, derisive, or try to say divisive, and didn't even hold the men who listened to him accountable. Now, he said without a solution. Uh, I believe Kevin always talked about getting information from your father, what's going on with your parents. Also, talking about getting therapy. Like, he always gave solutions, but he never tried to make it to where clinically he gave y'all women solutions. You know what I'm saying? So, you, you got to be honest that if you actually listen to some of the stuff he was saying, paid attention close enough, that was a good piece of advice. All right, so let's go to the next one. So he, he responds with this. You know what I'm saying? Because I him, asked him what he done. He said, I've done work since 1993 in what I said. You will have to get involved to understand. As a sample, the black community, black is a color, and none of us are technically black. Better question is, what's you... What's you and our nationality? Learning the answer to that is the beginning to solve out problems. Learning our true identity and history is the only thing that will fix you. Okay, I, I agree with the culture, knowing your culture. Trust me, I agree with that. Not the accumulation of money. Who cares if you become rich in a wicked kingdom? I feel you. You have to be wicked to succeed in America. You have to engage in unrighteous practices in order to do it. Our slavery wasn't some strange 
happen, happening, it was a direct punishment from God because of what our ancestors did. KS often, and I'm just going to say real quick before I change the page, he claims to be a, a Hebrew Israelite. All right, well, it's in the title, but that's what he claims to be. Ancestors did. KL, KS often claims some semblance of connection to being a pastor in the couple's ministry. All right, he did catch that part. Kevin said he, he did grow up in it. Those statements alone put him squarely in my wheelhouse. Oh, he's saying, hey, he need to come at him. So my criticisms of him are not only justified, but necessary. He said things like that to give the appearance of credibility. Then he would push black women to be whores. Okay. Why stay in after one day with a high value man, you should be prepared to give up the sexual goodies. Well, following that advice, a woman does that. What if the high value man doesn't want her after? Then she's supposed to go to the next high, event, high value man and then what? That's whoredom. That's a destructive force in our community. What if she gets pregnant? Then she has, next page, another kid without the father and pushes her further into the unwanted and undeserving category. See how implicitly, implicitly wicked this man was? His number one argument against feminism was to use an example of Alexander the Great and his army by saying they had squares, squires, pages, and young boys for sex that they didn't need women. Only an innately homosexual man would think those thoughts and worse espouse them. Any man, any black man in America that supports this thing is clearly lost and worthy of destruction. Mm. So tearing down his image and philosophy is important. Other than that, I could care less about Kevin Samuels. I had a father raise me along with uncles, male teachers, and coaches. I don't suffer from need of surrogate father, and neither do any of my three sons. So I came back and said, I'm thinking my head, wow, you said some mouthful. So I said, okay, so you have a problem with him being a hypocrite and how he talked about our women and also being a hypocrite, acting like he spoke the word of truth, the word with truth. But then I came back and asked a question, but then you post this? This is why I'm done taking girls on date. He, I guess there's like a comedian or somebody that posted. He said, this is the classic case of a conversation is needed beforehand. First meetings are a $40 limit. Right side of the menu, entrees are items that come with dick. Apps are for conversation. Don't get played because bitches ain't shit. <laughs> oh, man. Let me read that for y'all again. I, I think I best up. Let me go over it again. This is the classic case of a conversation is needed beforehand. First meetings are a $40 limit. Right side of the menu, Untrades are items that come with dick. Apps are for conversations. Don't get played because bitches ain't shit. You, 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 you see the irony here, guys? All these people that talk trash about KS. You got Rebecca Lynn Pope, but you go back to that video I made, which I might put that in the description. Go back to that video I made where she's talking all this trash about women they use their coochie for this she said the p-words they use their coochie for this and then are oh, you worth this coochie april mason she said what she said kendra g talking all that trash you seen we just did a video last night on the uh with uh let's talk with jvj people like that talking trash about him Derek jackson talked trash about that man when he was alive then what happened came out he was cheating on his wife all these people with this holier than die crap nobody's perfect people are fallible like stop acting like we're infallible people are fallible people are able to make mistakes bad decisions and all that because they're we're human but you talk all this trash and then you talking because you're a, a hebrew israelite kevin did this wrong push him in the hoarder man all of that this 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 and that this and this and that did the blah 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 yeah you know he this he's wrong he pushing out with me did messing up the community but this is the classic case of a conversation that is needed beforehand. First meetings are $40 limit. Right side of the menu entrees are items that come with dick. Apps are for conversation appetizers. 
are for conversations. Don't get played because bitches ain't shit. He he turned into Snoop Dogg for a moment there, guys. He turned into Snoop Dogg. He said that he's been doing this since 1993. He's been a Hebrew Israelite. I asked what you've been doing. He ain't really break it down. He just went back to dishing on Kevin. I mean, he had other stuff on there, like back to back, back. Like this is in the little Peef, little Peef group on the Facebook. You can see when people post stuff and you click on their post, then it show you a history of them posting. Kevin, 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 Kevin's gay, Kevin's gay, Kevin's gay. And it's like, what you hiding? That's my only question. Bro, what you hiding? Why are you so worried about somebody's sexuality? Did he say something good or did he not? If he didn't, why are you so worried about it? Oh, I don't need a surrogate father. Then what is it that you need? Somebody to hate? Because this is weird. That's some weird shit, y'all. But like I said, every time you come through, you find them damn... <laughs> you find dandruff. The shit ain't clean on the surface as they make it seem. But it is what it is. Everybody got haters. This is your boy JTL opposite from the norm. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe. You know what it is, man. You know what it is. F these haters. <laughs> Rest in peace to Kevin Samuels, the Godfather. Chill.